Happy 4th of July, everybody. Yay! Diamond, excited about the 4th of July? America! America! <laughs> Great. <laughs> so, it's the 4th of July, everybody. It's Tuesday. And normally I post these what I'm shooting with this week's on Mondays. But I thought I'd wait this week because today is a very exciting day. No, not because it's the 4th of July, because I'm going to the Grand Canyon right now. And I thought that I would be able to share some photos with you guys today from the Grand Canyon. However, first, let's talk about what I was supposed to be shooting with last week. Or the week before, I don't remember. I think it was two weeks ago. It was supposed to be the DJI Spark that super cute little tiny baby drone <sighs> mine didn't work <laughs> mine was broken from the start it never worked properly I could never maintain a connection to my phone this the video stream from the drone to the phone was laggy at best at worst my screen was completely black. So <laughs> I tried everything I could think of, tried, you know, I, I tried everything I could think of. I'm, I'm at least somewhat experienced everything. with drones. I have a Mavic. I've been flying it for a long time and I've had other, I've had other drones, but they, you know, none of them were as, as, um, technical. Buyer beware. Anyway. That's all I'm going to say. Nobody else seems to be having problems with these things so far as I've seen online, other than people not knowing how to use like the gesture controls or whatever. But yeah, mine, it simply didn't work. Well, by the time I received it and tried it out, you know, over the course of a few days, I was like, forget it. I'm just going to send it back because at this point it's not as exciting for you guys, my viewers, which is one of the reasons why I was able to justify the cost of a second drone, um, was to, you know, share with you guys my impressions and, and everything. Well, now everybody else's impressions and reviews are out, so eh, I just decided to send it back. So I wish everyone else luck with theirs. Yes, I wish everyone else luck with theirs. Mine went you'll back. Need it. And I don't think there was anything wrong with yours, to be honest. What I mean, my theory is I'm gonna keep my opinions to myself. <laughs> oh, really? I don't think yours. Really? Was now you're gonna keep your opinions to yourself? I don't think yours was necessarily out of the ordinary, but I don't know because we only have experience with one. Oh, I thought you meant it was user error, and I was gonna. No, no, I was I, gonna it say that some way. curse it words. Was <laughs> it was definitely not user error. I, I had no trouble with the, the <laughs> Mavic when you were, and then we, I checked, no, it yeah. was nothing, no, you did everything that oh, yeah. you were supposed to be able to do. Yeah, it. so save all your suggestions, because I'm telling you the thing simply didn't work. Correct. <laughs> Tried the Mavic in the same places. No, there was no Wi-Fi interference. No, there was, there was not, no, it was, my, it was the thing. My hope for other consumers is that yours was Defective. an anomaly. Yeah. That is my hope. That is not my belief. That is my hope. Anyway, let's move on, shall we? So this, the, the story here is that I don't have anything to share with you from last week's What I'm Shooting With. I normally share photos with you. I planned on sharing, you know, videos and such, but I just don't have anything because it didn't work. <laughs> I went out with it a bunch of times, but I really didn't get, you know, I really didn't get anything exciting because I was trying to make the thing work the entire time. So anyway, let's talk about this week. More this happy week things. Will work. This week will definitely work. Proven technology. This week, here's the thing. If I even did. For the last, mm, let's go with almost three weeks, four weeks almost, I've been shooting with things that took work to shoot with. I was at Yellowstone and I was shooting with uh, zoom lenses. I was working hard while I was there, um, all day, <laughs> every day, shooting with um, the 24 to 70 or the 70 to 200, those lenses being a little bit heavier, 
a little bit more work because, you know, you're zooming and thinking about more things. We brought one prime and we didn't use it. That's true. That's because we didn't know where it was for the first half of the trip. I lost it. Anyway, <laughs> luckily it was found. Um, <laughs> so there's that. And then I was trying to figure out the drone. So I was work, work, working on that. So basically it was a little stressful, enjoyable, stressable in the case of Yellowstone, but not so much in the case of the Spark. But this week, here's the thing. I need some prime therapy. That's what I need this week. You need to celebrate your independence from zoom lenses. <laughs> Oh, that's deep. You guys get it? Fourth of July, Independence Day, Independence from Zoom Lenses. They get it. Yeah. And that's the title of the video now. Oh, okay. Great. Sounds good. Will you also be editing? No, I just made the title. <laughs> okay. Good deal. So that's what that's what I'm doing today. I have four prime lenses with me, with us, and two camera bodies. We have the Nikon D810 and the Nikon D500. And for lenses, I have the 24 millimeter lens, the 35 millimeter lens, the 50 millimeter lens, and the 105 millimeter lens. All of these lenses being prime lenses and being AF or AFD lenses. Old school. Which means that they're a little older. No less good though. They're all great lenses. So tried and true, tried and true equipment this week. Stuff that is simply easy for me. I, I have a I have a lightness to me when I when I shoot with primes and not just the actual weight of the camera and lens <laughs> together but it just seems everything seems a little bit easier for me it's just one less thing for me to think about um, you know zooming or not zooming or where in the range I'm going to have my photograph it is what it is and if I want to move I can move and yeah so that's it that's what I am dealing with this week like I said, we're on our way to the Grand Canyon right now for sunset. So I suppose by the time you guys watch this, it's going to be July 5th, but you will be able to see some Grand Canyon photos. So I think it's worth it. <laughs> so anyway, guys, that's it. Here are some photos and video clips from the Grand Canyon. And I will be back later this week with more stuff. I have more questions, more viewer questions that I have to answer in a Q&A, and I have the July monthly photography theme to unveil. So stay tuned, subscribe, like, follow, all that stuff. Talk to you later.